Erickson Agricultural Complex is the crown jewel of the Moorhead State University Agricultural Sciences Department. This is a 325 acre agricultural farm, but more importantly, it's also a, a laboratory for the students to learn from. We have around 450 to 500 ag students, pre-vet, veterinary technology students in our program. The, uh, give, to give you an idea of our student growth, when I was in college, we had around 150 students, and so we've come a long ways. We get students from Kentucky, Ohio, Indiana, Michigan, you know, all around our service region, and we get students as far as New York coming here to, uh, to veterinary technology school or pre-vet, and, uh, and even from equine students coming from out west and so forth. The farm, it has a draw to it. It causes students to want to come here. One of the first things they tell me after they visit is that they fall in love with the place, and it, it just causes them to want to come to school. So the farm was actually my deciding factor on why I came. The farm is, to me, the piece of home that I'm missing because I, like I, I'm from a small town, I live on a farm. So the farm to me ties making sure that campus on its own and then the farm here brings everything together. So it's the piece of home that I'm missing and I can work on it here. Um, the learning experience is phenomenal. There's nothing I could like expect better out of it. Everything here is used so widely that, you know, I mean, and my favorite part is that they try to take kids that aren't ag majors and bring them out here to the farm and work with them. We have students that have tons of background with animal agriculture and then we have some that have only read about it or visited operations. They don't have the background themselves. And those are the ones you really love to see, get their hands on for the first time because it just, their face brightens, their eyes are wide open, just getting to experience everything uh, that's involved with animal agriculture. This farm is, is, is kind of a mixture of, of uh, di different phases of agriculture from horticulture, veterinary technology, pre-vet, uh, animal science, agronomy, ag business. We try to have a fair balance. Um, this farm has a, a, around 60 sows that they uh, do a farrow to finish type operation with. And then we have uh, around 45 ewes that we lay them out for the kids to work with the lambs. Uh, usually around 40 horses in the equine riding program, around another five to 10 in the breeding program. The uh, cattle is a black Angus, uh, registered black Angus herd uh, that we're really proud of. Uh, usually has around 70 mama cows in it. Uh, we grow some crops as far as a little bit of uh, uh, corn, pro corn production, and then a lot of hay production. We generally uh, round bale somewhere around 1,500 rolls a year and square bale another 4,000 squares a year. So kids, there's no shortage of learning experience for the kids. Uh, horticulture wise, we have a beautiful orchard up at the, in Fleming County, uh, somewhere around 1,200 apple trees on it, and then blueberries and fruit production and five greenhouses, and so there's plenty for them to do. I absolutely love the opportunity that this farm provides to our students. Uh, my degrees came from land-grant universities, so much bigger schools, uh, and our facilities and our farm here are much superior to both of the universities that I was at. And um, I remember when I interviewed here, I was just so surprised at what this farm offers to our students and how blessed they really are to have this experience. So I definitely am proud of our um, ag department and having this farm for our students. Being able to come out here and be able to work and be around more talented individuals such as the farm managers and professors working here for your labs, um, that, that by itself makes you a better individual as just learning and something you can carry on to a professional job site. I mean, I applied to West Virginia, West Virginia University, UK, Purdue, and by the time I went and visited them all and came back and weighed my odds of my, my cost and my tuition and what I liked here, I mean, it, it was really a no-brainer. But now here, you, you're just with yourself, your professor, and maybe another helper, and you learn. You learn together, and 
it, it's, it's a great atmosphere and experience. This is the skills that they're going to go out and when they get a job or they go on to other parts of their career, whether it's to veterinary school, whether it's to graduate school, you know, the hands-on skills that are, that are harder to teach um, and that, that our employers, that our students go and where they get jobs, they really appreciate that they can drive a tractor. They know how to cut needle teeth. They know how to, to give injections. They know how to deworm cattle. They know how to do all these things. And it really sets our students apart because they can go directly into a production setting and not just have to worry about, oh, well, I've seen that, seen a video of that, or I saw somebody do that once. You know, they just jump in there and, oh yeah, let me show you how we do that. I think it'd be hard to find the hands-on experience anywhere else um, in terms of just jumping in with both feet. And my first semester I took ag experience, I've been out here since day one. I don't think there's been a semester where I've been on the farm less than two days a week, even when I didn't live out here. So, no, I think it'd be awfully hard to match this anywhere else. And I don't know, I just think this, it's small enough that it, it stays hands-on, it stays a small community, but at the same time it's big enough that you got a little bit of everything and I think that works really, really well. The vet tech program um, here, we're, we're so, so blessed. We are um, accredited by the American Veterinary Medical Association and they give us a list of um, you know, essential skills that our students have to perform and um, our students have to perform these one time um, in order to become licensed and here at Moorhead State we are, you know, they might have to be part of an anesthetic procedure one time um, for, for accreditation purposes. We're doing four, at minimum, four procedures per week and so our kids are just getting so much exposure and that's going to be, you know, something that's going to be really hard to find at any other vet tech program. We can teach them a lot from sitting in lecture and looking through textbooks and going through the slides, but it's really putting it into practice that solidifies that experience. One of my favorite things is when I'll have students uh, call me or email me and say, hey, Dr. Kaufman, you know, I really did use what I learned in class. And some of them are in vet school now, some of them are working in, in private industry or working on horse farms, but to see them get that joy of, hey, I learned how to give a vaccine at the farm and now I'm doing it in my day-to-day -day life, um, that really is kind of the winning experience. The preparation that the kids get here really sets them up nicely. Um, you know, our kids get so much hands-on experience, they get so many repetitions that when they go out into the field, you know, they're pretty much prepared to hit the ground running. I still hear from a lot of kids that have graduated from here and it, nothing makes me happier than for them to shoot me an email um, with some pictures of something that they've done or that, you know, I've taught them and then they've seen in a, in a clinic like an emergency situation and um, they, you know, they reach out and they're so, they're so excited that they finally got to see that case or um, whatever and that really is the, the best part of this job is, is hearing from these kids and seeing what they're doing for the vet profession and it, it, it is, brings a lot of joy to me. So we take a lot of pride in our equine program here and educating our equine science students. Being in Kentucky and the horse capital of the world, it's really important that our students are coming out well educated and ready to hit the ground running. So we do our very best to make sure that they get the hands-on experience they need to be coming out of college well prepared to join the industry, work on all these horse farms in Kentucky and really make a difference in the equine industry. By teaching these students how to really maintain a horse herd, we have approximately 40 to 50 at any time on site. Um, and so to be able to teach our students how to have pride in taking care of those animals and the responsibility of good health and nutrition and um, vaccinations and things of that nature, um, we are really proud of taking care of our herd and teaching our students how to be good stewards of both the horses and the land that they uh, reside on. So one of the pluses to this, uh, the farm here at Derrickson Ag Complex is, is the student housing. Uh, the students have the ability to come and live on the farm. Uh, we have capacity for about 10% of the Ag students to live here at the farm. So we have two halls, Padula Hall and Lundergan Hall, and both of which can house 24 students each. So we have capacity for 48. The, uh, the students, you know, when they come and live on the farm, they, they can either uh, work on the farm or they can choose uh, if depending on which house they live in they can choose to uh, uh, just live on the farm. 
And, but it, it allows them that hands-on experience, even with their labs. They're here, they're experiencing the farm every day. And we generally have around 24 to 30 students working on the farm every week as far as like student work studies, earn to learn. And that is a really, really good hands-on experience. Employers really like that. Uh, I get questioned all the time, you know, did this student work on the farm? And it means a lot to them. It's a working farm, but it's also really a working laboratory. I mean, our students, they do all of these things, and all of the stuff that we do is very production-oriented. You know, it's not, oh, well, we have the swine bar, but it's research-oriented, so you don't get to see anything. I mean, we try to do some research, but it's very applied stuff, and so um, it makes me very appreciative and very proud of being here and working here and, and the experience that our students get at the farm. We have some of the best staff, faculty, Every, and students that we can possibly have and when it all comes together, everyone works together, it is a tremendous um, opportunity and experience. I, I maybe am a little biased, but I do think the Ag program is the best on campus. I think you'd be pretty hard pressed to find another program on campus that really brings everybody together and is such a family like the Ag program is. Um, from our secretary to our staff, we're to the kids, we're always you know, here for each other and our doors are always open and we all know each other really closely like family and I think um, once again you'd be really hard pressed to find another program on campus like that. The fact that uh, just knowing that it's here and, and that Dr. Derrickson and Dr. Dorn helped get all this created so many years ago and that it's still thriving today and growing is, is just a tremendous asset to the university.